page industries uh, and this year in the market uh, that promoters uh, you know have sold and they've trimmed down their stake uh, the management of course is joining us now to clarify on that piece uh, Bias Thomas CFO of page industries uh, joins in right now uh, amidst other things uh, uh, let's first uh, get in your reaction to promoters reducing their stake by close to 3% uh, in the last three months, Pass. No, actually, the, what promoters have reduced is only 2.2%. Uh, the balance sale is by some other funds. Uh, the reduction, the, pro the promoters have liquidated a small amount of uh, shares for their personal needs, buying property and all that. It has nothing to do with the prospects of the business. Okay, uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, this is uh, Yatin here from the research team. I just wanted to understand, I was referring uh, to the RHP which was filed by Page Industries a few years back during the IPO. And uh, you know, uh, one of the pages refers that uh, once the promoter's stake comes down below 50% threshold limit, uh, you know, we have Jockey International which can serve you notice uh, after 30 days or within 30 days post which they can terminate the licensing agreement with Page Industries for the Jockey brand and distribution of products uh, in uh, India and uh, various countries wherein you have licenses as Page Industries. So if you could clarify, uh, does uh, promoter stake coming down below 49% uh, trigger uh, the clause which was there in the RHP uh, mentioned uh, you know during your IPO the clause you are mentioning to has been amended the threshold limit is much lower so it doesn't affect our relationship with jockey the threshold limit now as per the new agreement if you could tell us um, no that is confidential it's much lower Okay. And, uh, you know, sir, talking about uh, your license renewal with uh, Jockey International, uh, when is the license renewal due uh, for Page Industries with respect to the Jockey International arrangement? The license renewal is due in 2030. Okay, 2030. So, for next 10 years, uh, you will probably have uh, headroom. 14 years. 14 years. Okay, you have, uh, you know, almost 14 years uh, till the time you have uh, this license. So, uh, with respect to Even this... Even after 2030, it will be ours only. It will be lifelong. Okay. And is there any intention of promoters to reduce take further? Because, you know, during the IPO time, it was 75. They have almost cut it to cut it by 26%. This is a very, uh, you know, big stake cut uh, we have seen by promoters in the recent past. So, going forward, any plans to further monetize the stake or, you know, probably the promoters are happy at 49%? No, they may monetize a small percentage further, which we are unable to quantify. All right. Uh, you you also mentioned that some fund has sold into the business. Uh, could you share with us the name? Uh, we haven't got it yet. Uh, that uh, we have to get it on uh, by tomorrow. We'll get the fund in details. Okay, but just adding to Yatin's question, sir, uh, what has been the key reason for promoters bringing down their stake so significantly, and is the plan to further reduce stake from here? No, no. Promoters are taking some money off to buy some their personal needs, property, and all that. Other than that, there is no other thing. And what they will be trying to do also in future also will be a very small percentage. It's not a significant percentage. They continue to be committed to the business. And they continue to be involved in this business. So it, our business remains the same. It hasn't changed. No, it doesn't change. But you can understand, sir, given uh, the way the stock is moving, uh, there's concern in the markets, and which is why, you know, this conversation is important at this point. Uh, it's just based on an unnecessary panic. In pro and some people have not understood the clauses of our agreement with Jockey. Mm. You know, the, um, uh, and Pais, I just want some clarification on that very front. Now, I know you're saying that you can't reveal uh, the uh, clauses of the new agreement, but I'll still try and uh, understand from you that, you know, why has there, the threshold limit been reduced lower? And if you give us some indication, you're saying that it's come in much lower. So the benchmark at which uh, the brand of jockey would go away is a much lower level from the 50% that was initially included in the agreement. Yeah. Uh, why this clause and when, did, when was it reworked? And uh, just for the benefit of our viewers, if you could give us that number, then that would, you know, perhaps bring about more clarity. I know you've said that you can't disclose yeah, it. Yeah. It would be great if you could perhaps share more details about the revised agreement. No, it has been revised because we don't, uh, and the promoters also want to take some money for their personal needs. And uh, I mean, uh, this is, we don't face a threat of takeover or something from other promoters, this thing. And Jockey is also comfortable with the promoters. They don't mind the promoters reducing their stake by a few percentage points. That's it. Okay. Mm. Few, few percentage points. All right. Away from this news, uh, Mr. Thomas would also like to know, in general, how is business shaping up at this point of time? Business continues to be, you know, as usual, like uh, earlier quarters. We are just uh, waiting for an uptick to come. 
Right. Your volume growth has been fairly uh, uh, soft, you know, you managed about 10% uh, in a soft environment. Actually, you've been able to defend uh, your volume growth quite well. What is yeah. the run rate on volume growth going forward? Uh, that we have to wait and see. That we have to wait, we can wait and wait and see. What do you have to wait and see for, sir, in, t in terms so, of... For the economy and our sales to pick up. Do you expect sales to pick up? Yeah, yeah, definitely, going forward. And is there a number on how much no, you expect no. volume growth to go up by? Uh, we cannot give any guidance at this point in time. Can you also tell us if there are any price hikes planned ahead? Yes, one price hike is in progress now. Okay. Also, talk us, tell us about your uh, leisure wear growth and how much is it contributing to your overall revenue and is uh, double-digit growth possible? Leisure wear uh, growth is, uh, leisure wear is now contributing to uh, sports uh, with 26 percentage and socks is 4 percentage. So, totally it's 30 percent of our sales. We expect uh, double-digit growth there going forward. Mm. That's one of the areas where the, we expect the growth to accelerate going forward. That one price hike that you're planning, how much would it be and when? It is already done partially in February, partially in March and partially in April. It'll be around 5 percentage. Okay. Um, so before we, you know, kind of wrap up this interview, I just want to touch upon the sensitive points once again, um, Apais, just for the benefit of our viewers, because as we speak, you know, the stock has gone a bit further lower and the one-month chart would reflect the concerns that have been plaguing page industries a bit. Uh, you are saying that at this point, despite the revised agreement, that there is no risk to the jockey brand. For the next 14 years, the brand is very much intact and is going to be your premier brand that you'll be pushing for. Yes, yes, exactly. And you're saying that, you know, that uh, clause of promoters take sale going less than 50%, leading to, uh, you know, the joint venture breaking off is no longer uh, as part of the agreement, that the uh, percentage has been revised much lower and that the promoters will continue to book profits at these levels? A small amount, small percentage. So just a few more percentage points from now, here? Uh, yeah, may not be anything more this year, maybe next year or something, a few more percentage. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but you know, while you were making the clarification about the revised agreement, I missed uh, your, uh, uh, if you'd indicated the number at, at which that uh, clo uh, the, uh, the percentage has been revised lower, you said it gone much lower than 50%? Yeah, yeah, we don't want to disclose that. Why is that, sir? Uh, because that's a private document. It has no relevance. No relevance. Well, from the market standpoint, it's just that that number would uh, put the market as, at ease uh, if you could share it. Uh, no, actually, we don't want to share that. Mr. Thomas, can you tell us what is the overall revenue growth that you're seeing go uh, going forward and the key drivers there? See, last, uh, on, see, I cannot uh, comment on Q4, that's price sensitive information. Up to Q3, we had a sales growth of 16 percentage and a profit growth of 17.78 percentage. And we uh, expect going forward, uh, because the economy recovers, our growth rates will go up. That's our expectations now. Sure. Now, you did mention about the price hike, Mr. Thomas, and as a, in general, a price hike, I mean, why, how much would a price hike translate into your margins? It will marginally improve our EBITDA. How much buy, sir? About 50, uh, half percentage. Okay. Well, uh, so... Balance is for uh, uh, meeting the increase in wages and salaries and other costs. Okay. So I think uh, you've addressed the key risk as of now, which was a doc jockey brand, and you're saying that the tie will continue till 2013, so that perhaps uh, you, you know eases investor concern as that's your primary brand. Thanks very much for taking out the time us and you. giving us this clarification. Really appreciate uh, you uh, stating as much as you can on the revised agreement and the promoter stake sale, which has uh, been worrying investors for a bit. The stock is still down about 6.5%. I just want to bring up the monthly chart of Page Industries. Uh, institutionally held part of many uh, domestic mutual fund portfolios. Uh, most of the portfolios that I have seen, Page Industries has a high holding there uh, in the quality uh, mutual funds. Um, and, you know, what you're seeing right now is the stock recovering from the day's lows. Can we bring up the one-month chart for Page Industries? Uh, uh, 10,775 coming in on the stock. And over the last one month, it's been a flat performance uh, for the business, just marginally up about 2%. Uh, um, that's, of course, uh, Page Industries in the session. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at 
ET Now Live. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/user/etnow.